Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Alex from Young Culture, and you're watching The Cookhouse. Order up! Um, yo, what's up, guys? My name is Alex. Um, I sing in a band called Young Culture. Uh, we're based out of uh, originally Albany, New York. Now most of us are in New York City. Um, yeah, I guess the music, what I always tell people is just like alternative rock. Uh, feel good music, you know? <laughs> we write music for good vibes. <laughs> yeah, so um, the band started out with, um, it's, it's me and Gabe and Troy. And the band started out just me and Gabe. Um, and it was kind of the beginning or the end of a different band um, kind of fizzled into this. And we just knew we wanted to do something a little more lighthearted than what we were doing before. Uh, and granted, this was back in, in high school and stuff. So it started out just him and I for like the first couple of releases. And then eventually we got um, our friend Troy, who we had met actually at a music camp in, in upstate New York. Uh, yeah, he joined the band and, and now it's the three of us. And uh, yeah, we like playing music together and just making fun songs with my best friends. <laughs> Uh, favorite early shows, um, there was a couple actually. Um, one of them, and every year it's just always so much fun. It's usually the one hometown show that we play um, back in Albany, but um, was the first time that State Champs brought us to play um, their Frozen Fest that they do every year, which is like their hometown festival uh, around Christmas time. And the first time that we played that was like a big, um, a big like boost for us and you know made us kind of feel like oh like you know this could legitimately be it and granted like you know gotten a lot of amazing opportunities since then but that one was definitely a, a big one for us and then um, another one was a show that we played at Oneonta that um, my one of my <clears throat> good friends booked because when, when he was going there and I think that one was with um, Grayscale and Koji and with the punches and that one was really cool, like, cause like that was like a just another one of those like first shows that we like were on a bill where like you know we were like, damn, like these are awesome bands and like artists. So that one for sure goes up there. <laughs> wow, I love that question because it's um it's obviously something that you know everybody's dealing with right now, but like. Um, a lot of artists can like relate to it and and we've all been having to deal with the same thing so it's never like a what was me thing you know or like you know I'm not trying to you know get pity or anything but it's like yeah there were a ton of like dude this sucked like it really did like I didn't enjoy it I've been bummed out and for the main reason being that you know everything in my life music wise was going on like just such a like an ink inclined trajectory uh, upwards trajectory for a very long time and like ever since I got out of high school like I really felt like there was nothing that was gonna stop me from doing what I wanted to do and um and then like you know I'm 21 at the time when yeah 21 when this all happened and then to have to go through like you know all of 22 and now be 23 and like not really like gone on tour or like done a whole lot to be able to keep keep the momentum up that really that really hurt a lot but we made the best of it and we made a lot of new music and and have a lot of amazing stuff in the future it's just uh it was a bummer but uh you know we're gonna be back there it was really tough also having to put out our like first album like our debut album during a pandemic not being able to tour on it and whatnot um, so I'd say like, just like, you know, being, being kind of stopped in my tracks was really difficult. And I think I would say the same thing for the other two in my band. And, um, but like, if anything, it just solidified that it's what we really want to do. And, you know, like there's nothing that's going to stop us. Yeah. So like I said, like, um, kind of just to like bring it back to what we were talking about in the last question, but. Like, you know, the three of us were kind of lost, you know, like we kept thinking, you know, as everybody else did, like, oh, it'll only be a couple more months. It'll only be a couple more months. 
And like when people were saying, you know, oh, you won't be able to play shows until like at least the end of 2021, like we're like, there's no way. But it, it was the truth, and you know, we're obviously still in it. Um, but we were like, okay, what can we do with our time? And you know, the three of us are always constantly writing. We all write on our own, and we get together on Sundays and we like write, and then we do our culture club um, on Twitch. So we had like all these songs in the arsenal and some songs that we really liked, and we were like, okay, like. What now? Like we we're like, um, let's go record some new music. So that's what we did, and um, it all came very naturally. We uh, put out the first two singles. We put out "Hum" and the title track of the EP, uh, "Godspeed." And yeah, um, they're both just songs. Like "Hum" is just a feel-good song about like the best feeling ever. You know, just being like super high in love. And then "Godspeed"'s got similar themes. It's just about like being wanderlust. You know, and just like being in love with somebody and like traveling with them <laughs> so they're both like very like specific you know things but they're like they're genuine you know and they're just words that came to the three of us and in songs that just came very naturally so yeah well yeah there's a lyric in hum and it was one that <clears throat> when we put that song out um right off the bat like the lyrics are pressed pause in the middle of life got caught up we should click rewind and look at what we've been through this year and like that was like obviously like that was the first lyric that we wrote when like we were writing the song and like whether i thought about it or not like it was kind of like that lyric about just reflecting about everything that's been going on this year and it's like whoa like you know when you're with somebody and it's like you're sharing a special moment and you just stop to like reflect and you know that was kind of like a beautiful and kind of like sad thing at the same time but ultimately at the end it it's supposed to be a, a like a beautiful lyric. So yeah, <clears throat> got these two singles out. Go check them out. Hum and Godspeed and Godspeed. The EP will be coming out um, July 30th. So not too long from now, just a couple of weeks. Um, it's gonna be five songs. They're five just really fun songs. Um, and definitely my favorite songs haven't been even put out yet and they won't be put out until the EP is out. Um, we got shows coming up. I'm not gonna say what or when really, but we got them coming up. And uh, yeah, you can just expect us to not be stopping. It's gonna be really awesome. 2021 is gonna be an awesome rest of the year and 2022 is gonna probably be even better, so. <laughs> Ooh, Hogwarts. Yeah, I mean, I think I, I really like Harry Potter. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna have to go Waffle House. Just more fun. Better time. Usually crazier. <laughs> Ooh, beer. Yeah. But they're both good. <laughs> Oh, fighter. <laughs> Square up, get in there. No, I'm just kidding, I'm a lover. I'm both. <laughs> oh, God. I just got a cat, so I'm gonna have to say cats. I think I'd usually have been a dog person, but uh, I really love this cat, so. <laughs> Lightsaber. Come on, I mean like, hammer, pretty dope. But a sword made of, of like light, badass. Oh, which one would I rather do? Oh, oh, neither of them. Uh, zombie, because I feel like aliens, like zombies, like at least I think that they're like. Or no, you said it's a fast zombie, so I. I still think zombies, because I feel like aliens are smart, and and like I definitely wouldn't. Alien. You know, so yeah, have to go with the zombie. Oh, wow, wow, wow! Interesting. I mean, I'm gonna go Taylor just because I love Taylor Swift. But why? Why that? <laughs> huh? I like living in the moment, so I'm gonna go Taylor. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
guy put up one duck sized gorilla or one gorilla sized duck? One duck sized gorilla. <laughs> I guess. Isn't that just a monkey? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. I don't know, but a big duck sounds scary, so I don't know about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shower gel. I do not fuck with bar soap. I don't. There's something that really freaks me about it. I can't hold on to it. Um, shower gel. End of story. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, actually, I would like to do both. Um, but I'm going to go with skydiving because I've never done it. But I do like the roller coaster. But skydiving because I want to try that really bad. Ooh, both are terrifying. Um, <sighs> uh, forest because it's more familiar to me. But they both have their cons because, you know, like desert. I mean, like that's just hot. And there's like scorpions. <laughs> then then the forest has a lot of crazy wildlife. I don't know. But they both sound like fun if you have the proper gear, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna go with forest. Psh, that my car, baby. I'm in New York, baby. I ain't need no car, you know what I'm saying? I ain't need no whip. So easy question. Damn. I do miss driving though. I do miss driving. So Yo, what's up y'all? Thank you for hanging out. I've been Alex from Young Culture. Um, make sure you check out our music. You can find it on any streaming platform, Spotify, Apple Music, Title, whatever you use. And uh, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. Have a good day. Peace.